Yeah, so knee implants um, and the metals that are used in the human body um, are actually have been used for a very long time. And there's a, there's a couple of different types of metals and knees, um, when people are doing knee implants, it's actually very important. Titanium is certainly the most common metal used in the human body for implants and titanium is a, an amazing metal. Um, however, in the knees, titanium is not particularly uh, you, used particularly well for what we call a bearing surface. So the end of the femur, the thigh bone, um, it, the cap that we put on there, the crown, if you will, um, needs to be very hard and very scratch resistant. So the most common metals used for that are what we call cobalt and chrome. Um, and cobalt and chrome implants, which are the great majority in the market, um, have stood the test of time, but there's a certain number of people um, in the population, primarily women with nickel allergies, um, that have potentially could have a reaction to uh, a cobalt chrome implant, not because of the cobalt and chrome necessarily, but because there's a small amount of nickel whenever there's two uh, metals are uh, smelted together. So nickel's used to kind of help the metals um, go together. And so cobalt and chrome themselves cells are also enzymes in the body so they can have an effect on the body uh, systemically and so um, there's supplements for uh, chromium picolinate for example so it's essential uh, um, out heavy metal in body and body processes so if the body for some reason reacts to that cobalt and chrome it can be a problem now fortunately again these are the implants that have been around for 50 years and they're really well tolerated but in the for people, particularly women, uh, and at least in my practice, who have a reaction to jewelry, particularly cheap earrings, uh, where they get uh, redness and swelling in their ears, about 10 to 15 percent of the female population has an allergy. And if you if you allergy test them, it's to nickel. So in those patients, there are actually alternate bearing surfaces. Um, the most uh, commonly used and what I consider the best the alternate bearing surface is actually zirconium oxide or uh, a thing called oxinium, which is um, uh, a, a ceramicized metal complex here, but basically has no nickel in it. Um, and that, but is a very hard surface uh, that keeps the implants from scratching. So um, that's a, the metals are really important. And for people who have kind of any type of uh, abnormal reaction to metals on their body, um, I, I actually prefer using alternative bearings, what we call alternative bearing surfaces. And um, the good news is these bearing surfaces are as good or better than the cobalt chrome ones in terms of wear um, and scratch resistance because the knee environment's uh, a little bit unique in that we have to um, have things, because the knee's moving, the implants are moving over each other, um, we need to have uh, scratch resistance or it can damage the metal. So, the metal aspects, there are things available, fortunately, now um, that weren't available before. Um, and uh, it is worth a discussion, particularly um, high risk patients, i.e., women with issues with, you know, earrings primarily, um, uh, that you should have with your surgeon to discuss that before you consider a total knee implant.